Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow! You have a bed and a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course! <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbit? Yes, please. <coughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak, like this. Squeak, squeak! Squeak, squeak! <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious! Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck! George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> 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 Rabbits like hopping. You're very good, Rabbit. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak. Oh, you'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite, carrots. Delicious. Delicious. Yuck. George will not eat carrots. Oh, dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Squeak, squeak. Mmm. Wow, George is eating a carrot. <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm, carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> Quick, George. <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. <laughs> this is pie. Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> But look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. <gasps> Mummy! Mummy Pig is home. Mummy! <gasps> Mummy's here! Quick, pretend nothing has happened. Hello. <laughs> what have you been doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yes, I can see you've been doing nothing. I thought you were going to put the picture up. In all the excitement, Daddy Pig has forgotten to put the picture up. Oh. Well, I'm no expert, but I'm sure it's quite easy. <laughs> there. Hmm. Yes, that did look quite easy. But when you did it, Daddy, it looked really hard. Shush, Peppa, don't tell anyone. Mummy, <laughs> 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 if I was 
was the queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Peppa imagines being a queen. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Peppa? Yes. More cake, please. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Peppa. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. Ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, poor Teddy. Let's get him dry. Poor Teddy. <laughs> there you are, Teddy. All dry. <laughs> ah, chew. What about poor Daddy? I'm soaking wet too. Oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. Let's get you dry. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Daddy Pig. Nice and dry. <laughs> oh. The rain is coming in the house. The floor is getting wet. Oh dear, what can we do, Daddy Pig? Don't worry. Daddy Pig is using a bucket to catch the drips. Well done, Daddy Pig. Easy as pie. Eh? What? <gasps> Quick, find something else to catch the water. Well done, Pepper. Easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, the thunderbags are very loud. It's okay, children. Don't be frightened. Let's count between each flash and bang. The higher we can count, the further away the thunderstorm is. One, two, three. That's three. One, One two, two, three, three four, five. five. That's five. The thunderstorm is going away. The thunderstorm is over. Hooray! <laughs> the thunderstorm has filled the garden with muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I love thunderstorms. They make muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> 
Pepper has found the first clue. A message in a bottle. Look, everyone! Here's the bottle! Well done, Pepper. Let's see what the message says. Oh, it's a message from a pirate. Mummy, can you read the pirate's message? Hmm. This pirate has very bad handwriting. The pirate's handwriting is excellent. No, I can't make it out at all. The pirate is clearly written. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrows? <coughs> George has found the second clue. Sticks in the shape of an arrow. Look, they point this way. <laughs> Pepper and George are following the arrows. <laughs> Look, George, a key. Pepper has found the next clue. A key. Well done, Pepper. <coughs> now you just have to find the treasure chest that it unlocks. But there aren't any more clues. Maybe you should take another look at the map. Look, Pepper, the map has two apple trees on it. Here's an apple tree. <coughs> and here's an apple tree. <coughs> so the treasure must be here. Let's take a look. Oh dear, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Hang on, there is something here. Wow, treasure! Hooray! Hooray! Well done, well done. <laughs> I've got the key to open it. Wow, I can't believe it. Gold coins! They must be worth a fortune. It's better than that. They're not gold coins. They are chocolate coins. And there's a chocolate coin for everybody. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George love chocolate coins. Everyone loves chocolate coins. Granny, Grandpa, this is the best treasure hunt ever. <laughs> <laughs> That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We've no more bread. <laughs> the ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> uh, what? You lot again? Peppa told you. There's no more bread. Mummy? We do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. Oh, a wasp! I hate wasps. Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig, then it will fly away. <laughs> there, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Eh? Get away! Scram! Help! Chew! Get it off me! I hope the wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. Let's eat our cake before the wasp comes back. Got to leave any for the ducks. I think I lost it. You said you would run around and get some exercise, Daddy Pig, but I didn't believe you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hang on to my slice of strawberry cake. Stop, Daddy! We promised the rest of the cake for the ducks. Oh. You are very lucky, ducks. <laughs> Say thank you to Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Ho <laughs> ho. It's time to go home. Say goodbye to the ducks. Bye bye, ducks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Ho, oh, oh, ho, 
I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Hello, Miss Rabbit! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good! Carry on! What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow! Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. Let's go home. <laughs> oh. Where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Run, Run, Mummy! Mummy! Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Peppa, stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! Keep on running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Pepper. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come, Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Come, Come on, on, the girls. Pull. I am pulling. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa! <laughs> and the result is a draw. 
so both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. <laughs> <laughs> George, you're sitting on Leo. George does not know that Susie has a pretend friend. <laughs> um, Leo Lion says he can't finish his cake, so George can have it. <laughs> <laughs> can we play upstairs now? Yes, let's play dressing up. I was asking Leo. Oh. Rah! Leo says he likes playing dressing up. Good. Come on, Leo. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are playing dressing up. Peppa is going to be a fairy. I grant you one wish. My wish is to be Queen Susie. And Leo Lion will be the jester. He doesn't want to be the jester. He wants to be the king. Here is Daddy Pig. Mummy Pig tells me you have a very special visitor. It's only Susie, Daddy. Are you sure there isn't someone else, Peppa? There is someone else. King Leo Lion. Rawr! <laughs> it's an honour to meet you, King Leo. Daddy Pig pretends he can see King Leo. May I say what a fine golden mane you have? Yes. It is very fine, and he is wearing his best red trousers. Oh, yes. And his blue jumper. Silly Pepper. Leo isn't wearing a blue jumper. He's wearing his best green shirt. Well, it is sort of a bluey green. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, Susie, your friends are here. Pepper's <laughs> friends are here. They're all wearing their boots. Let's jump in muddy puddles. Yes. yes. <laughs> Are you sure Leo should jump in puddles without his boots? Oh, I forgot. Leo's wearing his boots as well. <laughs> Look at Leo. He's jumping up and down too. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even pretend friends. <laughs> Mummy Pig is asking if Peppa may speak to Delphine. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, what do I say next? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? Bye-bye. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. What did she say? She spoke French. <clears throat> Bonjour, George. Comment ça va? Peppa is saying, how are you? In French. Dinosaur. <laughs> no, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> <laughs> it is morning. Mr. Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! Hooray! <laughs> Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. Aww. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. Oh, I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine! Bonjour! <coughs> Bonjour, Peppa. Oh, here are my maman and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour! Oh. Here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello! Hello. <coughs> Dinosaur. <coughs> Dragon. <coughs> 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 Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, oh, parlons sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so different in French, Daddy. Oh, come on, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it 
jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, the doll jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have our picnic lunch. The ducks always turn up when, when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All our brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. <laughs> The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. <coughs> uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sail on the river in the camper van. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Hello, Miss Rabbit's Rescue Service. Mr Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help, help. I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me, me, me. me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. How can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon! Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Potato. Thank you! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best carnival ever. Pepper loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um... 
I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Berries, flowers. Pretty dresses. <coughs> hello, Pippa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Pepper. <coughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> he had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No. He jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Ooh. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, Ooh. swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Peppa. But I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. Yes, Peppa. I'm sure you will. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> ho! <laughs> What are we going to do now? Chop the tree down! No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Hello? Tiddles the tortoise is up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. <laughs> Hmm. How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes! Let's chop the tree down! No! OK. I'll climb up instead. Hooray! Oh, I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops, silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. Thank, Thank you, you for saving, saving us, too. too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Goodbye! What a naughty tortoise you are! <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. 
What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too. Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <coughs> yes, who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <coughs> Tiddles the tortoise. <gasps> Dr Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. <coughs> That's not fair. It's your own pet. Oh, no. This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to... Goldie the Fish! Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to... The Gecko! Hooray! The prize for the pet who looks most like a stick goes to... Stephen! Hooray! The prize for the best monkey... Dr Hamster, he's not a real monkey. He's just pretend. The prize for the best pretend monkey goes to monkey. Hooray! But, Dr Hamster, which is the best pet of all? All of them. They're all happy, healthy pets. They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Porco. Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! I love Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh... Oh, dear. It is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you done? Got in this bag, Mummy Pig. It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tinned food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Peppa, for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. Peppa and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No. 
It is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur -y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <laughs> That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the aquarium cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, ho! It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. <laughs> Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants. <laughs> <laughs> I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Pepper and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh, Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There, that should do it. I am mended. Hooray! <laughs> My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? <laughs> no, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow. wow! So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like.
like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <laughs> I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> yes. On your marks, ready. get set. Three. <laughs> Hello. I'm home. Oh, I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa. Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. <laughs> you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter, Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, 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 Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. Chatter. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> My mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mwah! You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> and here is Neville. Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <laughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <laughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <laughs> Come on, this way home. 
<laughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <laughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <laughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh. It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. <laughs> It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny! Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes, it's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Peppa, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh dear, Peppa's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh! Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. <laughs> My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Go! Hooray! 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 Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. Mm. Um, maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! 
Daddy. <laughs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Daddy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? Maybe you should ask Mummy Pig. Mummy said that we can play it later. Well, that's OK, then. But I don't know where the disc is. <laughs> My turn. I see the computer is working again. Pepper, they make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? Everyone likes Pepper's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Pepper wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Pepper is in her pajamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Pepper even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Pepper, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Bobby. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. It has been raining all night, and now the garden is very wet. Mummy Pig is wearing her boots. Daddy Pig is wearing his boots. George is wearing his boots. Pepper is still wearing her new red shoes. <laughs> George is going to play in the wet grass. <laughs> oh dear. Pepper loves playing in the wet grass, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes wet. I can't play in the wet grass, George. Oh. George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping in puddles, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes muddy. Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone likes jumping in muddy puddles. Where is Peppa going? <laughs> Peppa is putting on her boots. Puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> I can't hear anything. I think they really have fallen asleep. Let's watch some television. Gardening. Today we are talking about roses. Oh, I love gardening programs. The Kiftsgate is a particularly thorny rose. 
to prune it, start by lopping off the head and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig? Pepper? George? You should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. <coughs> Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist, but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Ooh, this program is very boring. Ooh. Grandpa Pig, can you play that game where you throw us up and catch us? OK, but just one turn each. <laughs> Whee! Oh, oh. oh, you seem heavier than before. <laughs> <laughs> now it's George's turn. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Whee! <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> Whee! Maybe Grandpa Pig is a bit tired. I know. <laughs> Granny Pig, let's play catch. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're it. Catch us if you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep. Hello? Anyone here? <laughs> the little piggies are asleep, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to lick out the bowl. <laughs> George likes helping Mummy make cookies. <laughs> but he likes playing with Pepper more. <laughs> I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? George! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Pepper listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh, dear. You're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh, no. What's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy. It's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I can hear it rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> <laughs> and me. And me. And me. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seat. What's your favourite number, George? <laughs> George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. <laughs> George is only little. Don't worry, Peppa. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! 
Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? Steady? Go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come on, George! Yeah. That's the end of lap yeah. one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. The winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> in through the doors! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> That was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. This is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time.
time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Richard, just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Pass the parcel. Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. Yeah! Mummy, pass the parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. This is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Goose, please. Cheese, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Edmund. <laughs> It is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert island. <laughs> Dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. Meow. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh, where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world, looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island. With houses. And roads. Shops. Trees. And a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. Hmm. I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. 
I've got a flag in my van if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> <laughs> now our desert island is perfect. We will live here forever. Again! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro. Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep. Uh, yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill. Round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, an X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro? Don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, an X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful, especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie love to play in the garden. <sniffs> Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <sniffs> <sniffs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Peppa. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> George. He was a baby in my tummy. <coughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Pepper. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <coughs> And Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! 
That's right. <laughs> and you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> then one day you saw something amazing. Monkey Puggle! <laughs> Pepper, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> You loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo now. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa has always loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> You're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. Race you. Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, okay. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy, Daddy, you brought our scooters. <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, uh, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> that is not the Easter Bunny. 
That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh, we thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we are little bunnies and we like... Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <coughs> it's okay! I've caught it! Oh, 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 I'm flying away! Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello? Miss Rabbit's rescue service? Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a minute. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you! Hooray! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best carnival ever. Pepper loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> George has got Polly's birdseed. <laughs> George, that is too much birdseed. Polly will go very big and burst like a balloon. Pop! Uh, burst like a balloon! Pop! <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, George has forgotten to close the door. Ice cream! Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. Polly will have flown away. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <laughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? Ah! It's Polly! Hooray! Ah! But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. 
feel like you always do. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. Ah, bad seed! I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. <laughs> Let's look in more rock pools. <laughs> what can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Peppa's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago, when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes. They're fun for us, but not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh. Poor little fish. She's trapped. Oh. Oh? The little fish says she wants to go back to the sea. Maybe you could use your bucket to rescue her. Yes. Peppa is rescuing the little fish in her bucket. Don't worry, Mrs Fish. You'll soon be back with your friends. Bye-bye, Mrs Fish. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I love rock pools. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck finding your pond. Whoa. Oh! Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Mrs Duck says thank you. You're most welcome, Mrs Duck. <laughs> 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 Now, let's find our house. I'm sure it's this way. Hello? Did you hear something? Yes, I thought I heard someone say... Hello? It's Mummy Rabbit with Rebecca and Richard. Hello, Peppa. We're lost. <coughs> Hello, Rebecca. We're lost too. We wanted to go to the playground. So did we, but it's too foggy to get there. Come on, everyone. Back to our house until the fog clears. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. This way. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Aha! I've found our little hill. We'll soon be home. Hooray! Our house should be just about here. Oh. Daddy Pig has found a ladder. 
That's strange. We don't have a ladder in our garden. Goodness me! Can you see where we are, Daddy Pig? Yes, I can! <laughs> Daddy, where are we? Why don't you have a look? OK. Wow! Wow! I can see everything again. The fog is going away. <laughs> We're at the playground. Hooray! Whee! We're at the playground. We're at the playground. Whee! <laughs> seesaw, seesaw. Daddy! Mummy! <laughs> We're at the playground. Well, that's lucky. But I thought we were trying to get home. So did I. Maybe we did get a bit lost, after all. <laughs> George likes splashing. Pepper and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you drying into your pyjamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> Bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. <laughs> Pepper and George like stories. <laughs> When Pepper goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. Pepper and George like the Red Monkey book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. And this red monkey had a bath. And cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed. And soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, red monkey. Pepper and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> now Pepper and George are asleep, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> It is bedtime for Pepper and George. And it looks as if it is bedtime for Mummy and Daddy, too. It's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> We were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Pepper. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yes, let's be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. 
<laughs> My, what busy bees. Yes, we're busy bees. Buzz. Now we must fly back to our hive to make honey. Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> Goodness me, what do we have here? Granny, we're busy bees. Buzz. Ah, would you busy bees like some toast? Yes, please. And what would you like on your toast? Honey! That's lucky, because that's what I've made. Toast and honey. Hooray! I like being a bee, because they eat lots of lovely honey. I like being a snail, because they eat all Grandpa's lettuce. <laughs> Oi! Oh. You cheeky rascal. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, so many letters today. And this letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe, but it must be delivered before you can open it. That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Pepper and George. <laughs> See you later. Pepper and George are helping Mr Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look! All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing! Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. This letter is from me. It says, We are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Pepper and George. <laughs> Everyone has arrived for Zoe's party. Happy birthday, Zoe! Wow, so many presents. You'll be writing lots of thank you letters, Zoe. Oh, and who's going to deliver all those thank you letters? You are, Daddy. <laughs> but I can help. <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints? The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes, but it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? George has found more footprints. Ooh, what big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No, these are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> it's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got a picnic this time. We can't find it. I know. Mrs Duck, can you help us find our picnic, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hooray! Thank 
Thank you, Mrs. Dunn. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love nature trails. Yes, and I love picnics. And the ducks love picnics. And the little birds love picnics. And the ants love picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> <laughs> to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Peppa and George have been in the car at night. Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. <laughs> Peppa and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh dear, I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> Here she is, old Bess. Wow! Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now, who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other things in the sky? Yes. This is a planet called Saturn. Wow. What are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, look! Oh. It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. <laughs> 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 Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Bar Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <laughs> I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> on your marks, ready? get set. Three. Hello. <laughs> I'm home. Oh. I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at talking. 
talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. <laughs> you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter, Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, 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 Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. chatter. <laughs> Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow! Fantastic! You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready? Steady? Go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. Uh, that might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do now? Chop the tree down. No! no. I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Grandad Dog's Breakdown Service. Hello. Tittles the tortoise is up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes, let's chop the tree down. No! OK, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! Oh, I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops, silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. Thank you for saving us, too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> what 
a naughty tortoise you are. <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh. <laughs> 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 wow! It's a big dinosaur. Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide. <laughs> <laughs> That is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Granny Rabbit. We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. The dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. It's not a pretend cake, is it, Grumpy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Me. Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp, stomp, roar. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> I'll do the icing. I will sprinkle the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! Surprise! For she's a Johnny Goodfellow, for she's a Johnny Goodfellow, for she's a Johnny Goodfellow, and I shall say all of us, hooray! Here is a present for you, an antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! oh. I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. Oh, oh the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. 
Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. 